Star Wars is a franchise that isn't afraid to kill off its main characters. Especially when those characters don't stay dead. It's common practice in most fan bases to not believe a character is dead until you see the body, and even then it's not 100%. So when one of the most powerful Jedi in the Order gets his hand cut off, electrocuted, and then thrown out a window, a bunch of us fans said, you know, he could have made it. Today we're breaking down how Mace Windu is probably not dead, and whether or not we will get to see him again on the big screen. So without further ado, let's talk Star Wars. So first things first, let's establish what we already know about Mace's supposed death. According to the script of Episode 3, he's dead. The script states that, quote, The full force of Palpatine's powerful bolts blast Mace. He attempts to deflect them with his one good hand, but the force is too great. As blue rays engulf his body, he is flung out the window and falls 20 stories to his death. No more screams, no more moans. Palpatine lowers his arm. So, yeah, that does seem pretty definitive. The novelization also confirms this by stating that the fall did indeed kill Windu. But wait, there's more! While this seems pretty cut and dry, there is still hope for Mace's story. Star Wars is a franchise that is well known for retconning its stories and characters. Popular retcons include the Han Shot First controversy, Lei saying she remembered what her mother looked like even though Padme died minutes after childbirth, and oh yeah, Darth freaking Maul comes back from the dead after being cut in half! Maul is one of my favorite characters from the Clone Wars, and is one of the main reasons I love that show so much. And Maul is actually a great example of what can become of Mace. Think about it. If half of Darth Maul can get thrown down a reactor shaft and live, then I think that 95% of Mace, albeit a little stunned, surviving a 20 story fall is at the very least plausible. Keep in mind that a standard story is 10 feet, meaning that Mace's fall was approximately 200. For a powerful Jedi, this is easily survivable, especially when we see plenty of people in Star Wars survive ridiculous falls, including Mace himself on Geonosis. Look at that drop! That's easily 200 feet, and he just lands like it's nothing! To be fair though, he was also shocked from Palpatine's Force Lightning, which is not something to mess with. Palpatine is arguably the strongest Sith in the galactic history, so if Mace was stunned while falling, then obviously he wouldn't be able to use the Force to assist himself. However, going back to Maul, Getting your spinal cord cauterized would also leave you in a relatively similar state of shock. These are by no means synonymous, but I am calling it a draw. If we're going to allow one, then we're allowing the other. So Windu could have made it. Next question. So now that we've established that he could come back, the question becomes, will he? And if so, how? The most important factor is undeniably demand for his character. Disney and Lucasfilm aren't about to bring him back unless they think it will both please fans and generate a decent profit. I think the first one is pretty easy to gauge though. People love Mace Windu, and they want to see more of him. Let's look at the largest piece of evidence for it. About a month ago, Star Wars Theory released his Vader fan film, which soared to the top of trending on YouTube. I, I don't need to tell you guys this. If, if you're watching my YouTube videos, you, you've seen this video. The film ends on a cliffhanger though, with Vader about to face off with... Who? Mace Windu! Star Wars Theory is currently fundraising for his next edition of this saga where Vader and Mace actually do fight. And how is that going? Well, really well actually. Thousands of people are buying his merch and supporting him on Patreon to help fund this next film. People want to see this story, not just for Vader, but also to see more of Mace and, at least in their headcanon, have this arc finish. Also, Disney could totally make money if they brought him back. Books, TV shows, Anything would make them a near fortune. God forbid a standalone movie. People will watch good content, and sometimes they'll even watch bad content if it means they get to see their favorite characters one last time. So Disney really doesn't have any downsides to bring his character back. Also, Samuel L. Jackson literally says that he wants to reprise his role as Mace. He even called out Kathleen Kennedy at Star Wars Celebration. He literally said it! He's right there! Just give him a contract, Disney! This could be so- I'm I'm sorry guys. I just I just really want to see him come back. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Do you want to see Mace come back? Be sure to tell me why down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss the next time we talk Star Wars. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and check out my other videos, links are in the description. Thank you all very much for watching and may the force be with you.